Hello, let me tell you about Level Up Basketball. We call it Strava for Basketball. Me and my friend Anton, we met in 1994 and we were playing a lot like hell on a, our court, basketball court, and now we're building the biggest basketball community. So Anton is the top expert in basketball. He is still playing basketball like 20 years and 20 years in the basketball business. Uh, me, myself, I uh, was a CEO of Maps.me, the uh, most popular travel maps in the world with 150 million users globally. And CMO at Litres.com is the ebook store in Russia, like Amazon, with 25 million users. So let me tell you a little bit about global trends. We see that the next 1 billion consumers on top will be the vertical social network. We can see lots of examples like old trails for hiking, fish brain for fishermen, Strava for running, and Onyx Hunt for hunting. So any sport with good tracking generates the user-generated content, and this builds the community. So the next trend is uh, the trend in Gen Z world. So you are actually your virtual profile, your virtual identity. So the better profile you have, the better you are for others. So if you are a superhero and no one knows about it, you are not a superhero. And let's take a look at Strava's success. Why they became this quite popular vertical net, uh, social network for running. Because the first one, uh, the innate need for social validation for any asset uh, to grow its skills, track results, compete with ours. And the second point is that they have an accurate data tracking based on GPS. So global problem with, we see in terms of Gen Z is that your identity is constructed with uh, several applications uh, which are already vertical social networks like hiking, fishing, running, etc. And for basketball, there is no such a kind of solution where you could build your basketball profile. So your virtual identity, personality is incomplete with this, without basketball profile if you're playing basketball, of course. So let's go a little bit deeper in basketball problems. There are three types of, three groups of people involved in basketball, coaches, kids, and parents. Coaches are still using paper dashboards. They overloaded with operations, use several of these solutions, in most cases, uh, Google spreadsheets for everything, and they definitely want to earn more. Kids, really don't have these uh, Gen Z uh, kids that don't have the option to build their basketball profile. They don't have the access to community and cannot share their progress uh, with the world. So parents, what parents need, they need to see uh, the kids' progress and they basically don't know what kid is doing on the practice. So there's a question, what I pay my money for? Uh, what solution we we think can resolve this issue. Uh, the solution is tracking that will build the community. Basically, the tracking will be based on Level Basket app, mobile app, that will give you the option to build the basketball player's profile. And this way, you will your digital virtual profile will be more complete and you will share it with the world using your social networks. So what about other trackers? The basically, uh, existing trackers don't really work for amateur players because wearable devices do not track important data and pro trackers are too expensive and AI cameras work only on home court but not on the, on the open court uh, on the street. Too many people out there. So how we plan to track basketball? We believe that coach is a good tracker. And here, here's how, how it works. Uh, coach tracks the training process with the training dashboard, digital training the dash dashboard available from the app. Kids can see uh, their progress with their beautiful stats inside the app. They engage in the education process. And parents, of course, also want to see this progress and they pay for it. They pay additional price for the ability to see their kids' stats and what they were doing during the practice. So why coach would start tracking? How are we planning to sell this? Uh, we are planning to share the revenue with coaches, additional revenue coming from parents. So parents want to see these beautiful stats 
they want that coach uh, use our digital dashboard, training dashboard. So coach get the most of revenue that comes from parent subscription. They pay to access these beautiful stats. And of course, uh, everything that coach, uh, all the programs that coach uh, puts inside the app uh, gives the option for scouts to get access to these little verified little boards and search for new stars for NBA or any other league. So will basketball app become the next one billion social network? Yes, for sure, because basketball is number two team sport in the world. We have five million players, 500 million players globally, 26 million in the United States and three million players in China. So we think that the size of market is about 1.3 coaches globally and about 132K in the United States. It's highly social team sport. So how the community will grow, how we will build Strava for basketball is that easy. As soon as coach starts tracking, uh, the stats goes to kid. Kid shares the beautiful uh, picture with stats inside to his social networks and other kids engage in this process. They use the app and uh, on the other hand, they start using uh, training with the coach. So the competitive scope is like this. In the United States, there are several solutions, but they all are multi-sport. They're not focused on the product for specific type of sport. And there are quite a lot of uh, things that's special for basketball itself. So uh, they do not track the results uh, and uh, as a result, they don't have the community. So what solutions we have for coaches, we planning to charge them per player. It's about 2% of the gross revenue they get from uh, parents that pay for kids education. So it's about 12, 12 to 20 year, uh, dollars per player per, per year. So the average size of group is about 100 uh, kids. So 100 and 1,200 dollars per one team per year. It's a net revenue. So for parents, we have the option subscription that will give them the option to have access to full stats of their kids and give additional values to their kids like premium training programs they can use also outside of club. So what's the growth upside? Why we launch United States? We launch United States to build the best product and with this product, we can go further to China. So China is about 40% of global market in terms of revenue. And about 80% of cultures still using paper. So we plan to digitalize the, this process. So let's take a look at the roadmap. Uh, today we have uh, an MVP ready to for a test launch in the United States. We're ready to incorporate in Delaware and uh, start testing. We have we have quite a lot of customer development and uh, our friends uh, coaching uh, American kids in the United States. They're ready, they're just waiting for us. As soon as we launch the better version in App Store, we will uh, start the test. So we're looking for pre-seed round uh, up to 1 million at safe contract. Then we will make an expansion in the United States, check all the traction and cohorts, and then raise the seed round to launch in China. We are planning to have about 20 million installs uh, within the next five years and about the minimum of 8 million net revenue. In terms of gross revenue, it's much higher because the average margin uh, is about 2%, 2 or 3%. So what's the exit strategy? The exit strategy basically are uh, big players in sports like Nike and that's Under Armour. That's it. Here are contacts. So join our journey and uh, bring your money to our safe contract.